Justin Timberlake, Vince Vaughn, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Just a few of the stars Hollywood producer Arnon Milchin has rubbed shoulders with. But it's his story that should be made into a movie. The Israeli-born businessman behind hits like 12 Years a Slave. I have a business proposition for you. Pretty Woman. Come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. And Fight Club says he spent years as an Israeli secret agent and arms dealer. In a stunning interview that aired Monday on an Israeli investigative program, Milchin detailed how he was recruited in the 1960s to Israel's Bureau of Scientific Relations, where he helped gather technology to further Israel's still unacknowledged nuclear program, saying, quote, I did it for my country and I'm proud of it. Milchin moved to Hollywood in the 1970s, but he suggested his efforts on behalf of the Israeli government didn't end completely. Milchin indicated other big Hollywood players were also involved, saying, quote, When I came to Hollywood, I detached myself completely from my physical activities to dedicate myself to what I really wanted, filmmaking. But sometimes it gets mixed up. The 68-year-old Milchin owns New Regency Films and has produced more than 120 movies, working closely with directors such as Martin Scorsese and Oliver Stone. He forged an especially close relationship with actor Robert De Niro, who was also featured in the Israeli television program. I did ask him once, we spoke about something, and he told me um, that he was an Israeli and that he, and that he, of course, would do these things for his country. So you want to come to Hollywood and act like a big shot without actually doing anything? Yeah. In a story that seems reminiscent to last year's Oscar-winning true-to-life film Argo that depicted the CIA-Hollywood collaboration to rescue U.S. diplomats stuck in Iran, it's a safe bet Hollywood execs will be fighting to bring this story to the big screen, too. Now, we reached out to Milchin today for comment, Jim, but we were told he is traveling in Europe and unavailable. You, you know, I have been covering all things Hollywood for a while, Jim, and not much surprises me that goes on there these days, but this, this is a wow story. This is, and it's too bad he's unavailable. When he is available, he should come on the Situation Room and tell his story to Wolf Blitzer. I'll pay money to see that. I love it. Put that. it out there, baby. We'll get him. That sounds good. All right, Michelle, thank you.